amazing? Oh, thank you. Didn't know that. Didn't know it was so hot. Did you literally think you were going to be on stage as an opera singer? Like, hi, it's a ho. No, my parents wanted me to be an opera singer. So, and so you I actually didn't know checked off say. voice major? Yes, and I went, and I, all the girls in the china flats and the scarves and the lozenges. So oh, yeah. There was just, and I, I, and I was like making armpit farts in the back. Like, it was such a nightmare. And yeah, so I ended up, so, but then I was in school, I went to school in Chicago, so I found all the comedy people. And then I left the voice major world. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Talk to me, because we were discussing, because I went to conservatory too. Talk to me about the freaky ethnomusicology teacher. Oh, my God. You have, because you have to take like these requirements. I don't know. I feel like, are there music majors in this room? Because they're, they're, it's like a music yes. nerd thing. So they make you take ethnomusicology, which in and of itself is sort of interesting. Because if you have the right teacher, if you, fair enough. And uh, this was, was like an intro course thing. And and again, like the zither has a lot of interesting notes, and the Indian scale has a lot of notes, whatever. Um, but this, the, we had to sit through this horrible, boring lectures. And this guest lecturer came in, and his expertise was that he sings overtones. So he's physically capable, like he'd studied all over the world with the Tibetan monks, how to sing one note and have the overtone hit at the same time. Okay, fine, super fascinating. I'm sure some of you all have your massage table chants at home, whatever, but um, <laughs> that's a lot of that. But, but that, that's all fine. But this man's um, discursive style, like his presentational style, he had to feel the spirit. So he could only do an overtone based on his study and prayer if it, hit him in the moment. And that happened to be in the middle of a lot of his thoughts. So he was describing, he would describe these overtones and he would say like a lot of, and he, and he was a very boring speaker. He was, and imagine th 300 you know, college freshmen in a big lecture room. So a lot of people wonder if I, I'm capable of this because of some kind of anatomic. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most, so I, that was the moment that I decided I had to leave, I had to drop out of music school. Cause I, 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 I was so convulsive with laughter and I, I was all, I was, I was basically asked to leave. I was in the back, I was in the back row, just like violent, like church laughing where I could not, I couldn't recover. Like it was a terrible, and, and I, th I, I went back to, to my dorm and I called my mom and I said, I've got, got it. You've got to let me be in the school theater. I, that's all it took me. <laughs> I wish it I could shoot me like my sister Kate. She shakes it like jelly on a plate And all the boys in the neighborhood They know she does it as a dancer My daddy wanted to know last night What makes a boy's treat Katie so right? I know that I'm late, but I'd be up to date If I could shame me like my sister Kate I shame me like 